Minister of Agriculture and Lands, Honorable Yulan Bain Hosford, told the cocoa farmers they need to employ innovative techniques that can enhance cocoa production in Grenada. These techniques can help to counter the effects of climate change on the production of cocoa. A 20% reduction in dry cocoa as compared to last year must be of concern for GCA. While it was believed that such decrease in production was due to the negative impact by adverse weather conditions, farmers are encouraged to adopt climate-smart agriculture approaches in the face of the challenges of climate change. Some of the climate-smart agriculture approaches which have been advanced include, among others, organic mixed cocoa plantations, construction of deep drains, construction of wind breaks, rain water harvesting. The ministry continues to support the association which experiences cash flow challenges as a result of fluctuating prices on the global market. Reviewing the GCA's performance for the past year, Minister Bain Hosford praised the organization's efforts but implored upon members to explore added value to cocoa like its undertaking at the Diamond Estate in Victoria to produce juve and other chocolate products. While I applaud the GCA efforts, we must ask ourselves, will these measures bring the GCA and by extension farmers the long-term benefits desired? I dare say, this heavy reliance on prices on the international market will not restore a viable industry. The New Today, on Friday, 16 August, published an article by Dr. Reginald Bokmaier entitled, Can Chocolate Save the Grenada Cocoa Industry? In essence, the article points to value added and the potential exploits of the diamond chocolate factory. Each year, the Ministry of Agriculture and Lands contributes thousands of dollars to farmers through various programs, including concessions, farm labor support, and wages paid to cocoa workers. The ministry also provides agricultural extension services, promotes continuing education, and best practices in cocoa farming. For the Ministry of Agriculture's Public Relations Unit, I am Mina Booker.